Hello guys, just a quick video today. Hope you're all doing fine. So I got this video here from this NASA STI program YouTube channel. You see here NASA STI program 40,000 subscribers. This video was uploaded 13 years ago. You can say 2010 and uh, there aren't many comments there, I just left a comment seven, seven minutes pear shaped so you have to listen to this um, it says United States Space Explorations 1958 part one of two and there's a continuation here part two of two so I have, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play just this part here, the, a little bit of the introduction and this part here so take a listen very carefully, please. On March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, Dr. John P. Hagen of the Naval Research Laboratory announced that Vanguard was poised and ready to launch from the Atlantic Missile Range, Cape Canaveral. Vanguard 1, an Earth satellite, was placed into orbit with a perigee of 409 miles as its closest approach to the Earth and an apogee of 2,453 miles from the Earth. It is expected to stay in orbit for hundreds of years. Its solar batteries will power transmitters which will give information to generations of scientists of the world community. Information gained from Vanguard One has enabled us to determine the true shape of our Earth. It is slightly pear-shaped. It is slightly pear-shaped. It is slightly pear-shaped. Now you heard them. Uh, saying that the back in 1958 that Vanguard 1 had sent data back to Earth showing that the true shape of the Earth was pear-shaped. So it's, it's not so trolling taxpayers because that's not, not what they say today, that's not what they display today and here's a couple of contradictions. If you take a step back and look at the Earth that sucker is as round as you're gonna get. So it's not actually a sphere, it's like pear-shaped. Pear-shaped. Is a sphere. So people have known that the Earth is spherical for thousands of years. Information gained from Vanguard One has enabled us to determine the true shape of our Earth. It is slightly pear-shaped. We really need to put this question to bed because we've known the Earth is a sphere for a long time. Look at pictures from space, where you see the Earth as a sphere. Those pictures are not fake. The Earth isn't quite a sphere, it's a little bleh. Information gained from Vanguard One has enabled us to determine the true shape of our Earth. It is slightly pear-shaped. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. So there you have it, uh, there is no consensus in the heliocentric model, they don't really know what shape Earth is, there is no way to go to space or take a photograph of Earth, it has never been done before, all we see, all they present us is just CGI images, the Earth is what the Bible describes it is, stationary plane with a dome, with the sun and the moon, above and circulating giving us the seasons and the times of the year so the earth matches the description as is in the bible you should not trust nasa nasa just means to beguile to deceive take care guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye